Yes. Um, I, I'm I'm happy that I, it, it, my 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 position there was in fact um, uh, was seen as correct, but I could not really take any other position. Oh, right. Having looked at the the draft that was given us, and then with all of the trying to study the history and everything that happened happened in Muslim Mindanao, beyond um, uh, the 100, 200 years. It's the only thing that we could do. Uh, I, I cannot believe that we. That I, I don't. I don't really have anything against the MILF in that regard. What I really think is that our government dropped the ball. Um, in 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 many ways, uh, I think this the, this the single greatest weakness in their approach to the peace process was to consider the all Muslim Filipinos to be of a homogeneous group, uh, one single homogeneous group, which is certainly not the case. Um, and then the idea that uh, the, 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 the idea that we are returning somehow to a previous system where there was a Bangsamoro. Well, I, I looked into it. There has never been a Bangsamoro. If you deal with one, you have dealt with the other. Uh, unfortunately, the, that mistake has been made also by the MILF because they uh, assert that we have signed a peace agreement with the president. The rest of the Philippines should follow. Uh, and I, 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 that is why people worry. Uh, you, are, you are talking like you are a sovereign nation. And that's why the separatist uh, issue will not go away. Because if you look at the BBL, it really is a, it is not, it is not bringing into um, Philippine government, Philippine society, the, 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 the affairs of state, the Muslim Filipinos. It is setting them apart, which is, which is, con which is, uh, which is contrary to what we are trying to do. Uh, Cynthia Villar said something yesterday at our Bulung Puluman, which jibes at what you're saying. She, I said, um, if the BBL doesn't become a law, the MILF has threatened to go to war. Mm -hmm. And she said, what makes you think that even with a BBL pass, they will not go to war? Yeah. She said that. That's right. So either way, they're, they're primed for warfare? Well, the, the, the threat has been made uh, constantly and uh, most, <laughs> most uh, assertively by the president. Uh, with his images of counting body bags, he has seems he seems to have uh, he seems to have withdrawn that uh, because uh, in the newspapers the other newspapers today they he they, he was interviewed as saying that that's he does not believe that will happen so I, I want to I'd be very interested to know what changed his mind but in any case um, despite the fact that they they, they threaten war we, we cannot take that into account. And you have to re always remember what I, um, in my case, what I was always telling myself is that I am not working to, to pass a law. I am not working uh, to, 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 to promote one group over another. What I'm working for is, the, is peace. And whatever it will take, we should do that. And uh, that is why I think that uh, we had to take a step back and gain a little bit more perspective than we have had. Because ang naging obsession eh, basta, bibel, 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 yes, like, yan, kailangan oh, pasa. <laughs> no, please, do not, uh, I, I, I don't want anything to do with that. Uh, I, I, had, I had nothing to do with the, with the writing or with even the conception of the So, so the, the reality is, it won't get born until after May, um, I mean June 2016. I can. Is it a still birth? A delayed birth? It's certainly delayed. <laughs> it's certainly delayed. Uh, but if you're talk, we don't even in in the Senate we don't talk about the BBL anymore. Oh. So it's the presumption being uh, dead in the water. Or well, because the BBL, the BBL is the, the BBL is the name of the bill that was given to us by the palace. That's dead. It will has no chance of passage in in the in the House. No chance of passage in the Senate. So we talk about the substitute bills that have both that have been filed.
Yeah, we call it the it's the well the short title now is the Bangsamo uh, sorry the basic law for the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. I think the that also that the, I uh, that's that's why it's clear it was clear from the very start that uh, it was clear from the very start that the BBL was was patently unconstitutional to begin with. And secondly, it contained provisions that were really did not make very much sense. Um.